Greetings. I hope you enjoy your ride today. How many of you are there? Nobody else to play with? Well, who needs them? Is this your first time riding? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to have you back. May I have your name, please? Wonderful, thanks. If you feel like buzzing, use the letter B. They're still sterilizing everything, so we'll be ready in just a moment. Good luck. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride is sponsored by STD, spreading open sores, warts, and body lice for over three millennia. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, your host, Guy Towers! Oh, hello, Doctor. Welcome to the game. Uh, be sure to pull on the gloves, because we're going in. You know, it's a long journey to the bottom. You gotta expect to get a little sick along the way. Ready? This baby's gonna be... A plague upon you. Okie doke. Hey, remember that movie The Omega Man where everyone dies of a plague and Charlton Heston is supposedly the last man on Earth? <laughs> well, if the Omega Man wants to leave his mark, which symbol should he grip? Go for it! That's the Omega Man. It would be tough for Chuck to survive if he were the last man on Earth, but he'd be alright if he stuck to his gun. Hey, looks good to me. And this one's called... El Nino plagued the ancient Egyptians, too. All right, pull on your slickers and complete the following sequence. Rivers turn to blood, frogs, lice, flies, death of livestock, blank, 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 darkness, death of all firstborn. Uh, what's missing from this list? Boils, hail, locusts, grasshoppers, drought, wind, rain, mudslides, flooding, or bad hair, chip nails, runs, and stockings. It's yours if you want it. Yay, as I walk through the Valley of San Fernando, I fear no mudslide. <laughs> well, it seems so obvious now, doesn't it? The ten plagues of Egypt included boils, hail, and locusts. And when the eleventh plague that was disco came upon the land, the people of Egypt sang, It's raining men. Hallelujah! Hey, nice choke. All right, here's what we're doing. You poor, sick bastard. Oh, no, your doctor just called. You might be contagious, so uh, you're going to have to be quarantined. Considering the period of time quarantine actually means, who or what might you expect to share your sick bed? A Mardi Gras crew, all of Noah's animals, Jesus resurrected, or... Take it! Shut up! I'm sick! Come on! Quarantine means 40 days. And after 40 days in bed with all those animals, you may no longer be infectious, but I'll bet you'll be feeling pretty dirty. And the category is... Sending a big shout-out to Pasteur. Okay, 3189 bucks if you can nail this one. Uh, shall we? Suppose there were an ad campaign commemorating the three vaccines developed by milk processing legend Louis Pasteur. Do it! <laughs> Got rabies? No, I'm just chewing on a few Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> huh, maybe you didn't see this one. Got chicken pox? Yeah, thanks to Louis Pasteur. I mean, I don't know anybody who's had anthrax, cholera, or rabies, you know, but everyone gets chicken pox. You know, why the hell didn't he work on that, huh? Useless microbiologist. It's the category is... Sparkling water with a twist of Lyme disease. Coming at you. Which superhero would angry mobs most likely blame for a Lyme disease epidemic? Spider-Man, Super Chicken, The Tick, or Underdog? It's yours if you want it! <laughs> Sp
Spider-Man? Nah, he'd only be blamed for an outbreak of silly tights for men. <laughs> well, I would have picked this one. The Tick could be blamed for an outbreak of Lyme disease, and his sidekick Arthur would become despondent and fly into the porch light. There was a god who sent ten plagues, and frogs were one of them. O F R O G S F R O G S F R O G S, and frogs were one of them. O Hop on into frogs. Remember to buzz in when the first letter of the answer lights up if you want to win the cash. And the bonus is yours if you can grab all five letters. And we're off. When a toe rots away. I've got the boogie blank. Who do you favor? Something blank, something new. Oh! The Nile is one. River! Gigantic movie lizard. Godzilla! One more letter, the bonus is your. What you drown by drinking. Sorrows? Bonus! Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Sweet buzzing. Lots of cash on this one. All right, category coming. The junk food junkie look is in. Okie doke. Listen up and buzz in to type the answer when you can tell me. I've got the fever for the flavor of a what? It's all yours. Type in your answer and hit return. I'm sorry. I was out of the room. What happened? Uh, here's what you should have typed in. I've got the fever for the flavor of a Pringle. Because, you know, once I popped, I couldn't stop. You know, I tried to stop, but I, I couldn't. I, oh, God, I couldn't stop. Hit that buzzer. And, and your category is... He put his finger in the dike? Hey, you know that little Dutch boy who was a hero for sticking his finger in a hole in a dike? <laughs> yeah, he still hasn't heard the end of that one. Well, if the little Dutch boy came down with Dutch elm disease, which childish taunt would bother him the most? Take it! Dutch elm disease is a fungus that kills off trees. But if you really want to make the little Dutch boy cry, tell him that he's going to be a fatty, fatty 2 by 4 Oh my god, that sucks. Oh well, here's your category. The postman always leaves the wrong package twice. Okay, suppose your mail carrier has messed up and left somebody else's delivery on your stoop. I know it's crazy, but just imagine it for a second. If this is what the label on the box says, who is this package supposed to go to? Aphrodite, Electra, Hera, or Pandora? Do it! Hera today, Ghana tomorrow. <laughs> Just for the record, here's the right answer. Zeus gave Pandora a special box, but told her not to open it, lest all the evils of the world come out. <laughs> so don't open the package, all right? And if you ever get Eve's Fruit of the Month delivery, um, stick to the oranges. How much cash we playing for? Buzz in, find out. Oh, nice pick. It's time for a Dis or Dad. The category for this Dis or Dad is providing a 40-day supply of vitamin C. All right, I'm going to read off seven names. For each one, you got to tell me if it refers to a famous group of Jews or a brand of juice. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Libby, juice or juice? 
Picked up five. Not great, but not terrible. All right, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. Hit your buzzer and get ready for the only thing grosser than marshmallows and the yams. All right, check this out. Your mom's planning a family reunion, and everyone's invited. You know, cousins, second cousins, uh, third cousins, aunts, uncles, great uncles, great great uncles, carbuncles. So anyway, what fun trick might you expect your carbuncle Bill to do? Make his gangrenous thumb split in two, play Got Your Moles, go for it! Look, Billy, I can pull off my thumb. <laughs> Watch. Ew! Uh-oh. <laughs> and for those of you interested in the right answer... A carbuncle is a big old nasty boil. Ugh. 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 Come here and give Carbuncle Bill a big hug. Oh, too big. Oh. All right, smash. Oh, Mondo Casho. Nice going. Here's your category. Is that like getting the vapors? And away we go. Consumption sumption, what's your function? Wasting away tissue and causing a cough, infecting the skin and causing boils, stimulating the brain and causing seizures, or clogging the arteries and stopping the heart. Do it! Consumption, also known as tuberculosis, is a wasting disease, usually affecting the respiratory system. So instead of ring around the rosy, the kids can just sing coughing up a lung. All righty, bu- Feeling a little brain dead? Well, here's a clue. Dead were lying around everywhere. No, they just hang out at fish concerts. Oh. Ah, good luck. Let's check out that final score. There she blows. Who has time to cook? We don't, we're Sam. And Ella. And we want to invite you down to Sam, Sam and Ella's. Ella's so you can get you and your family a good home raw meal. Sam and Ella's eats to sell you runny eggs and chickens good and raw mayo from the straw we'll do the finger lickens we got frog legs and yeast and dry gelatin you uke till you puke in our dirty kitchen acute symptoms may last for one to two days or maybe prolong again depending on host factors and strained characteristics salmonella's Fill your bellies with spore-forming bacteria. Animal 
animal feces, all your favorite species, slides down your throats like chum. Yum!